During winter maintenance, it is important that we carry out the process of setting the swinging torque on the shear bar support. To do this on Jaguar 800 machines, we must first completely remove the swinging shear bar support from the machine. To do this, we remove our four bolts on the front to disconnect our shear bar support from our shear bar adjusting arms. Once that's completed, we then release our eye bolts from the bottom of our shear bar support and the shear bar support can be lifted clear from the machine. So now that all the bolts have been removed, we can pivot the shear bar support down and lift it out. Now that the shear bar support has been removed, we want to make sure that our pivot points are nice and clean and shiny so that there's no excess rust that can affect the swing and torque. And the other main check that we want to make, we want to be able to hold our eye bolt with one hand and the mounting pin for the eye bolt we want to be able to turn it with the other. If at any point these pins are seized, we need to make sure they are removed, freed up and refitted again. On the cylinder housing side, on our pivot points, we want to make sure our nylons are clean and dry to make sure that this doesn't affect any adjustments made during the swing and torque process. If you have any older machines that have brass bushes fitted, instead of nylons, the brass bushes should be removed and replaced with nylons. Now that everything has been checked, the shear bar support can now be refitted. Now, with the shear bar support refitted to the machine, what we want to do is go ahead and preliminarily tighten our eye bolts to 100 newton meters. Before you tighten, your eye bolts, it's also a good idea to use your special tool to fit onto the end of your shear bar support first. So now that the bottom eye bolts have been set to 100 newton meters, we now want to check if we've got our minimum swinging torque on our shear bar support. To do this, we need a torque wrench capable of up to 600 newton meters. We will then try and move our shear bar support at 500 newton meters. If it does not move and the torque wrench clicks off, we'll then set our, our torque wrench to 600 newton meters. So now that the shear bar support moves, while we're at 100 newton meters, what we want to do now is increase the torque on our eye bolts by 20 newton meters up until the point where 500 newton meters on the torque wrench no longer moves the shear bar support. So if we give our torque wrench another 20 newton meters, and then we check our shear bar support again. So we still have movement, so again, 
another 20 newton meters. We still have movement. So we'll keep going in steps of 20 newton meters until we no longer have any movement. So we still have movement, so another 20 newton meters. Now that we have reached our minimum of 500 newton meters, we can now set our swinging torque to 600 newton meters and we should be able to move the shear bar support. And that means that we are within the range specified in the operator's manual for the swing and torque. The key points to note are, start at 100 Newton meters on your eye bolts, increase in steps of 20 Newton meters up to a maximum of 300 Newton meters. And if you reach the maximum of 300 Newton meters, you should remove the shear bar support again, make sure everything is clean and dry and inspect your eye bolts for stretching. Now that the swing and torque has been correctly set, we will now torque our shear bar arm bolts up to the required spec as stated in the operator's manual. That is the swinging torque process for Jaguar 800.